Hi everybody, it's Katie with RIA Health, and today I'm here with Dr. Mendelssohn, researcher and physician here at RIA Health. And Dr. Mendelssohn and I were just chatting about some of the things that have come through some of the Sinclair Method communities, um, where people are sharing that perhaps they're not getting the results that they had hoped for on the medication naltrexone. And I wanted to just inquire with Dr. Mendelssohn today, uh, for his perspective on um, more, more about what the medication naltrexone is and perhaps why some people um, are not getting the results that maybe others are and what can be done about it. So thank you for being here, Dr. Mendelssohn. I look forward to hearing to what you have to say. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure being able to talk to people. And I want to say I've been reading many of the comments coming through the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the Sinclair Method uh, Warriors group uh, uh, Facebook page. And, you know, there, there are several things and I don't, I really, this is not directed to any one person's comments or directed at, 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 at any of, um, uh, I'm not trying to give medical advice here. And uh, so I'm going to keep this very general, but a lot of people struggle with naltrexone. Uh, the drug is difficult for many, many patients. And Rhea, about 10% of our patients just don't tolerate it at all. And that's due to side effects. And that's tolerated at any dose. Even when we reduce it down to 12.5 milligrams a day, they, they, have, they have intolerable side effects. What, where are these side effects coming from? And, and why, why are they different between people? Well, that's a really interesting question. And it's because naltrexone is a really complicated drug. It's not a simple drug at all. It, in addition to having effects at what are called mu opiate receptors, <clears throat> which are the ones that seem to mediate pain and pleasure, they also, and naltrexone can also have effects that are not in the same direction at kappa opiate receptors, which are ones that cause discomfort or displeasure. So in some models and in some people, naltrexone appears to be a kappa agonist. That means it increases the effects of kappa, which means that it, that it has unpleasant effects. All right. So many patients report when they take naltrexone that they get, that they feel some kind of strange intoxication, right? They feel weird, you know, and, 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 and some people feel they, 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 they say things like, I feel, I feel, I felt high, I actually felt high all day. And I, and, and I felt in addition, I couldn't sleep and I had weird dreams, right? M many of us think that's due to the kappa agonist effects of naltrexone, which although minimal are, are, are ones that your body doesn't usually see. If you're a person who responds that way, you may, you, you know, you have a strong kappa response to naltrexone, you may never, you may never be able to get rid of those adverse side effects. And naltrexone won't be a medication you can use. So that, and, 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 and you know, what I, I guess I, my big point here is to say that, 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 that you know, I, I love the enthusiasm of the group. I love the fact that people share their, their knowledge, but not everyone is going to get a good response. And it's not just because they didn't give it a good effort. It's because their biology is different. And, uh, and, and for those individuals, we do have other medications that are effective and safe and can work well. Um, you'll need to work with your physicians on that to, to, to find the exact, the, 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 a good knowledgeable physician. So, so now Trexone, so one adverse set of adverse effects is that weirdness, that feeling weird, high, intoxicated. And other are the GI ones, the, the, the gastrointestinal, or, you know, so people have nausea, they have diarrhea, they, 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 their stomach, they, they, they queasy all the time. That is probably due to some of the mu effects as well as the kappa effects of the drug. And is, is probably more a dose dependent phenomena. So in people, if you're, if you're having a lot of GI stuff, you may be able to affect that by either increasing or decreasing the dose and, 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 and waiting. So that one, it turns out there are actually more opiate receptors in your gut by mass. In other words, the amount of opiate receptors in your gut exceed the amount of opiate receptors in your brain, right? Uh -huh. And so in fact, in fact, opiate receptors were initially isolated from, from, from the ileum, which is a part of the small bowel of guinea pigs, because uh -huh. that's what most of them are. And drugs that, that make you like low modal and, and uh, that drug, those are all opiates. Those are drugs that, 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 that constipate you if you have diarrhea. Uh -huh. Are all, are, and, and, and opiate withdrawal is one of the principal symptoms is vomiting and diarrhea, right? As well as abdominal pain and cramping. So at any rate, so, 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 so naltrexone has a ton of gastrointestinal side effects. Most of them aren't bothersome enough for, for people to stop medication. But 
you know, one thing, I, I, one, thing one, one law of medicine, or at least one of Mendelssohn's pseudo, like you call these plastic pearls. Like they're real pearls and they're plastic pearls. You know, plastic pearls can look good, but they're not real. But this is a plastic pearl, which is a pretty good one, um, is that, uh, is that uh, you can't make a well person better. So most of us are willing to tolerate some medication side effect if we're getting a better, if we're getting better as a result of it, right? You know, like, like, like if we, uh, you know, if we take, if we take an antihistamine because we have allergies and it's sedating, it beats the heck out of it, beats the heck out of sneezing continuously, right? But, but on the other hand, if we don't have any symptoms and it makes it sedated, it, it, the medication is doing no benefit, it only doing, it's only giving problems. So many people find when they cut their drinking down, some of these ad, adverse effects of naltrexone really begin to emerge for them. And that's because they're better. It's because they're better. Right. So so and, and, and it, it, maybe it's a subtle message that they're actually better and they don't need the medication as much. But at any rate, I, the point of this whole discussion is that is that is that is that you can have good effects of naltrexone that later turn into neutral to negative effects because maybe you're better. Maybe also because the GI system is responding different than the brain. I mean, we really don't have it. We don't have a we don't have a good science handle on that. And that naltrexone has other effects on other receptor systems that can vary between people. And therefore, therefore naltrexone may, may not work for everyone. I guess the final point I'll make on naltrexone, and I see a lot of people talking about increasing doses and, in, in, you know, going up. And, and I don't think that's particularly bad, but there is a risk of, of, of liver problems with naltrexone. And it's a good idea if you're going to increase the dose that you have at least a physician following you. I wouldn't do this. This is, this is not, I wouldn't do this at home alone, right? So at this point, you need professional help. And someone should be monitoring blood tests or at least symptoms to see, to see, to see, to make sure that you're not, to, you're getting into any risks with, with naltrexone. Doses below 100 milligrams appear to be very safe, almost, in, uh, you know, other than these side effects we just talked about, the weird intoxication and the, and the GI stuff. It, 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 it's pretty hard to hurt someone with, with naltrexone. Mm -hmm. uh, unless they're opiate dependent and having those side effects. But, um, but, but, but if, as you escalate doses, risks do increase, and you ought to have a professional working with you at that point. Wonderful. Thank you. And I have one quick follow-up question, um, and that is, what is the amount of time someone should really give to see if this medication is going to work for them? Because I know some people get side effects early on, and then they go away. So, you know, I also see people we've talked about in the forums who it's been months and they're still having these severe side effects and not seeing a reduction. So in general, what's your thoughts and recommendations there? I think if you're not seeing an effect at one month, it's time to look at something else. Okay. okay? You, this should, you should see an effect within the first month. Um, maybe, if, you know, like, like people are wonderfully different. Like, you know, this is the holiday season. So if you started now track zone, like, you know, last, like, like last Wednesday, which is the day before Thanksgiving, Right, you know, then you went to your family celebration, you came back, then you had three Christmas parties for work, and then you had, you know, your holidays, and it didn't go very well. Well, I might give naltrexone until February 1 to really make sure it's working. But, but if it's January 2 and, you know, like by February 2, you're not doing any better at all, I think you need a different medication. And okay. there are different ones. I think there are different. So one month, now, you know, the question always what is what constitutes better? And that's certainly one of the things we, we you know, like, 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 what is better? And we should talk about that at some other time. Because that's a complicated question, too. Okay. okay, great. That's really helpful. Thank you so much for talking about that. And if you have any questions and you're watching this video about naltrexone, please feel free to post them in the comments below. And thank you, Dr. Mendelssohn. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.